A group assessment day is very, very similar to a one-to-one -one interview. The only difference is there's more people there. Now, the reason people will do a group assessment day is probably for two reasons. A, they've got to see a number of people at once, okay, so they're going to use it as a first filter before the one-to-one -one stuff, or they want to see how you interact in a group environment. So preparation again, yeah, being yourself, understanding from your preparation if communication skills are important is what you need to be communicating and what you need to get across at that interview. But it's very much the same advice uh, as for a one-to-one -one interview. There's just more people in the room. On assessment days, one of the biggest mistakes you can make is to not be yourself and to think that you've got to be the one that pushes yourself forward, the loudest in the room, you've got to get your point across ahead of anybody else. But that's not how people behave in the business world, it's not how people behave necessarily in the office environment. So you've got to be sensitive to other people's point of view, but you've got to get your point of view across. Um, you've, got to, you've got to be brave enough to do that, and you've got to stick, stick behind what you, uh, what you believe. But you do it in a business professional way. And um, yeah, don't think you have to be something you're not. Be professional. Imagine you're in your existing office environment and communicate in a similar way, and you can't go far wrong.